everyone! This is a video tutorial for the reactions of quaternary ammonium hydroxide salts, specifically the Hoffman elimination. So the first thing you have to be able to do is identify what a quaternary ammonium is. So it's a nitrogen that's directly attached to four carbon groups. So this is our quaternary ammonium and here's the hydroxide. If you apply heat to the system, what's going to happen is you will get alkenes out. Now be careful, this is not a dehydration, there's no water being kicked off, it's just an elimination where you're removing a hydrogen in order to form an alkene. Now the interesting thing about this reaction is normally the most stable alkene is what you would think the major product would be. In the Hoffman elimination, however, it's the least stable alkene that is your major product. To understand why that is, we'll have to take a look at the mechanism and the transition states. Okay, so let's take a look at the mechanism and the transition state for this reaction. So over here we have our quaternary ammonium and we have our hydroxide. The hydroxide will act as the base that removes the beta hydrogen. These electrons that were once shared are now placed between the alpha and the beta, which then causes the leaving group to be kicked off. Now exactly the same thing happens here. We have the hydroxide take the hydrogen. These electrons are now placed between alpha and beta, and this group is kicked off. So now the issue then lies in the transition state. So if we take a look over here, our hydroxide comes and it takes the hydrogen. Remember, when it's taking the hydrogen, the hydrogen leaves the electrons that it once shared with the carbon behind. So now what would normally happen is those electrons would then be placed between alpha and beta and the group would get kicked off. The issue is that this amine group doesn't want to get kicked off. So it's going to take a little bit of time to get the group removed so that the electrons can transition over to be between alpha and beta. So what that means then is this carbon is left holding those electrons, meaning it develops a partially negative charge. So now exactly the same thing happens here. Hydroxide comes, takes this hydrogen. These electrons that should be moving over here between alpha and beta are kind of stuck now on that carbon because this group won't leave. So we've got a carb anion forming on that secondary position. So now for carbocations, tertiary is more stable than secondary is more stable than primary. The reason for that is hyperconjugation, where the neighboring methyl groups will share electrons which would stabilize the positive charge. Now hyperconjugation is not going to stop just because we have a negative charge developing. They're still being shared. The only issue now is that's going to be a destabilizing force. So for carb anions, primary is more stable than secondary is more stable than tertiary. Which means then that this primary versus this secondary, that's what we're looking at. And this primary carb anion is much more stable than the secondary, which is why now we can understand that this is the major product and this is the minor product.